Hello friends, good evening to all of you. I am back with another video on sociology optional subject for UPCCC mains examination. In this video, we are going to cover social background of Indian nationalism nationalism impact of colonial rule on indian society so friend please do please do these three hours as it really really motivate me to continue this awesome course for you and comment and like the video and hit the subscription button below the video and ask any doubt if you have so friend as you know that we are covering two autonomous topics and in this video we are going to start impact of colonial rule on indian societies part a that is social background of indian nationalism so let's get started so basically india was invaded in past many times because of regional nationalism and never put integrated resistance against the invasion ultimately it cost about almost one and a half century of british rule in india ar desai books social background of indian nationalism is an another through going account of colonial period and rise of nationalism from the marxian perspective it focuses on the rise of nationalism in india the site traces the growth of national movement in in five phases and each phase based on particular social class which supported and sustained it so there are these five phases phase 1 before 1885 then phase 2 has from 1885 to 1905 phase 3 from 1905 to 1918 phase 4 from 1918 to 1934 and then phase 5th is 1935 onwards so basically in phase 1 indian nationalism has had very narrow social basis it is pioneered by intelligent intelligent intelligentsia who were product of modern system of education they say countries consider raja ram mohan roy and his follower as a pioneer of indian nationalism it was non political expression of nationalism in form of socio religious reforms and it continued till 1885 when indian national congress was founded so from in second phase it represent the interest of development of new bourgeois society in india here development of modern education created educated middle class development of indian and international trade given rise to merchant class modern industries created class of industrialists national movement voiced demand of educated class and trading bourgeois such as indigenization of services the association of indians with administrative machinery of the state the stoppage of economic drain and others so basically they want to wanted to participate in administration constructively then in phase 3 from 1905 to 1918 the nationalist movement nationalist movement became militant and challenging and acquire wide social base so the she development took place in this era for, such as in 1907 foundation of tisco led in jamshedpur and then it will be in bihar then jadav university in bengal is also opened then in phase 4 that is from 1908 to 1934 almost all social classes join in this phase like tribes student landlords peasants women etc and two pan indian movement was launched the first one is non cooperation movement and the second one is civil disobedience movement then there is fifth phase which is from 1935 onwards and many international events influenced national uh, nationalism indian nationalism success of russian revolution which led to inclination towards communist ideology like all india kisan sabha congress socialist party etc in that is nationalism started looking beyond congress umbrella it is also divided on communal line because muslim league and rss getting momentum So, what is the meaning of nationalism? Basically, it is an emotional feeling of belongingness and loyalty to an abstract land by the virtue of its connection culturally, historically, and emotionally. According to Hans Kohn, nationalism is a state of mind permeating the large major majority of people. It is supreme loyalty of a man towards his nation. According to Professor Ashir Watham, nationalism is a process by which nationalities are transferred into political units the term nation has been used to denote a human group which follows following characteristics first idea of of common man government whether as a reality in present or past as an aspiration of the future a certain size and closeness of contact between all its individual members more or less defined territory certain cases clearly distinguishing nations and non national groups 
certain interests common to individual members, certain degree of common feeling or will which is associated with the picture of nations in the mind of individual member. Then we trace the origin of nationalism in India. So it can be traced through different stages. Basically there are four stages. The first stage is nationalism under ancient India. In this period, Rig Vedim Himes refers to India as Bharat Varsh or Bharat Khan. Feeling of nationalism is strengthened in the age or uh, in this age by Mauryas and Guptas. The idea did not receive concrete shape during ancient India. Nationalism almost equated with religionism in this era. Then second one is nationalism in the medieval period. Here among Muslim ruler, Mughal ruler made some contribution to idea of nationalism. During Mughal rule, the imperial authority of king was respected and loyalty towards the king was treated as nationalism. Nationalism in pre-independence period. This is the third part. In here, freedom struggle which took place in India marked concrete idea of nationalism. Because of the following event, the first one is Sepoy Mutiny in 1857, then formation of Indian National Congress in 1885, Swadeshi movement, then non-cooperation movement, civil disobedience movement, quit India movement, and then finally it took sub-nationalism that is India is divided, then section 4 or the second period or second era is nationalism in the post-independent period here constitution of India is developed, national symbol developed, single citizen, single constitution and fundamental rights and a strong center are its characteristics. So basically there are different types of nationalism, first one is economic nationalism, basically it is a theory uh, which is called drain of drain theory by Dada, Dada Bhai Naroji, then later Gandhiji foreign goods boycott shows, boycott movement shows economic nationalism, then social nationalism, many reform movement of downtrodden and against social atrocities like Rajaram Mohan Roy's movements, then cultural nationalism, it in this Tilakji used Ganesh festival to propagate, tem, propagate for nationalism. Temple entry, Khilafat and Akali movements are some uh, type of cultural nationalism. Then political nationalism, here transport, press, English language brought leaders together. Then in revolutionary nationalism, ex basically it is represented or can be said as extrem extremist phased. Then there is also a transnational nationalism. If, uh, here Gadar Party, Mohan Singh and INA, Indian National Army, Indian Diaspora abroad are the part of transnational nationalism. Then calamity driven nationalism when there is flood, cyclone, warship brings India together due to these reasons. Then uh, there is also sport nationalism as we are seeing in the modern India. Then there are some important factors which build up nationalism in India. First, the understanding of contradiction in Indian and colonialist interests, political and administrative, economic and economic unification of country, western thought and action, role of press and literature, rediscovery of India's past, that is, India is known as golden bird, then progressive character of socio-religious reform movement, rise of middle class intelligentsia, impact of com contemporary movements worldwide, then reactionary policies and racial arrogance of rulers. Then we are going to see the AR Desai and social background of Indian nationalism. So basically according to him that is AR Desai, India's nationalism is the result of materialistic condition which is created by British colonialism, the Britishers developed new economic relations by introducing industrialization and modernization. The economic relations is, uh, is predominantly a stabilizing factor in the continuity of traditional institution in India which would undergo changes as these relations change. So thank you guys for listening to me and watching this video. So please do this as hit the like button and comment and ask any doubt if you have and all don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos as there are a lot of videos are going to come for cover the whole social optional paper 1 and paper 2. Thank you.